Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. So we got a question from a viewer and the viewer said, well I know that on the 10 franc coin from uh, the 1980s that there is a figure on the uh, front of it, not the head of state woman figure, but another figure, a flying angel figure, facing to the right. And they said, do you have any French coins where the figure on the front faces to the right. They said, well, we know we've all all of the other coins that we've seen, the figure kind of faces to the left. So do you have any where the figure faces to the right? And I said, yeah, we have a couple. And here they are today. We have the 1947 10 franc coin and the 1955 100 franc coin. And so let's take a look at those two coins. The one on the left, the 1947 10 franc coin has the uh, head of the Republic. There she is facing to the right this time with a Phrygian cap. And she is inside the, the what they call the denticles or the beaded outer edge. It says Republic Francais on here. This is the de designer's name, Pierre Turin, down here below her. And um, if we tip it up on the side, we see that it has a reeded or milled edge. And on the back of the 1947 10 franc coin, it says 10 francs. This is 1947 here. Liberty, Egality, Fraternity, the French motto. Um, we have the stalks of uh, wheat, I believe it is. And again, we have a beaded inner edge. And we have the mint marks. Uh, the marks, uh, the dolphin marks here, but there is not a mint mark on here. This uh, coin does come with a B mint mark. And one of the ways you can tell if this is a mint mark coin is you look at, and let's look at specifically, these are laurel leaves on her hair, uh, on her headband. If the laurel leaves are short, then it is uh, a B mint mark. Now these are the long laurel leaves and you'd have to get both coins to look at it, but uh, take my word for it, these are the long laurel leaves. The other ones are much shorter and they are from the B mint mark. On the other coin, oh, let's finish up with this one in terms of it's a copper nickel coin. It is seven uh, grams in weight. It is 26 millimeters in diameter and 1.7 millimeters thick. On the, and I'm going to turn it over again so we can look at the other side while we're talking about this coin. So this coin here is a hundred franc coin, so worth a lot of money at the time. Uh, neither one of these coins is still being used as currency. As you know, in 2002, France took, oh, uh, undertook to become part of the European nations and has the euro now. And so when we look at this particular um, coin, we see the flower in her hair. Again, she's facing right. She's carrying a torch this time. So the mother of the nation or the head of the Republic is facing to the right again. Flower in her hair, carrying a torch. It says Republic Francais. Um, see how they have the two E's kind of follow. I like this double uh, line there. You don't see that very often. And this has, uh, this particular coin depending on year, we'll have a different width of the headband up at the top. And when we turn this coin over, you see you have to flip it end to end because the, the alignment is upside down. It says Liberty, Egality, Fraternity, 100 francs, 1955. And again, we have the mint here, the dolphin. Um, but we don't see in here the B. Now this coin also comes with a B mint mark and it is not in here. So this was made at the regular mint. There were 152 million of these minted. Um, of these, there were, there were 41 million. Again, this one has the same edge, the milled or reeded edge. And this particular coin is made of copper and nickel also. This was made from 50 to 69, and the 10 franc was made from 45 to 47. They're both worth probably a couple bucks um, uh, plus shipping, maybe $2 or, or more plus shipping. They're not hard to get, but you have to kind of know where to look for them if you want to collect these two coins. So once again, yes, there is some French coins 
where the head of the republic faces to the right. And here are two of them. Have a great day from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Oops, I wanted to show you here. This is the engraver's mark here. I love Robert Cochet's engraving. He has a big C with an R in it, and that's his engraver mark there. Very, it almost looks kind of like a, um, a trademark thing in the United States or a copyright mark in the United States. So big C for Cochet and little R for Robert. And thanks again from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.